Okay, I've been asked a lot recently how the whole dome thing works. Like, how do you make one? And people are going online and looking for how to do it, and there's all this crazy information and too much stuff to know, and there's all these different ways. Anyway, it looks like people want to know just how to make a simple dome. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna tell you how I did mine and um, go through all the math of that, which is actually really easy because I've already done it. Now mine is based on a soccer ball. Uh, if you don't have a soccer ball and you want to build a dome that's kind of based on a soccer ball, I say go get one because then you can look at it and have an idea of where you are and draw it and stuff and figure out what's going on. Um, <clears throat> in a nutshell, the soccer ball has two different kinds of pieces. See, there's pentagons, five-sided things, and hexagons, six-sided things. Now, if you look in the dome... So you'll notice my dome has made out of triangles, but if you look right here, hey look, there's a pentagon. It just has lines going toward the middle to break it up into triangles. And now right above that to the side is a hexagon with lines toward the middle. And that's what it is. There's all these pentagons and hexagons all over the place. There's a pentagon right over our head. Okay, you might want to get a pencil for this part. How many pentagons and hexagons are there in a soccer ball? Uh, well, if you put a pentagon right on the top, then you go down, there's, there's five around that. So, you got one up here, then a row of five pentagons, and then there's another row of five, and then there's one on the bottom. So that's five, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve total pentagons. All right, now how many hexagons? <clears throat> uh, there's a row of five up here, and then I guess you could say there's a row of 10 going all the way around, so that's 15, and then another row at the bottom of five. So that's a total of 20 hexagons. 12 pentagons, 20 hexagons. Oh, and that's for a whole sphere, of course. Uh, if you're not building a whole sphere, say you want to build like, Half a sphere, half a sphere is kind of a pain because that would put you right in the middle of some of these lines. So it's better to choose a line just above half or just below half. Anyway, you can count on your soccer ball or you can think about it like, you know, I've got five, or I've got one pentagon here and then five there. And if I cut my line right under that, okay, that's all the pentagons, that's six, you know. But you just have to figure out how, how tall you want it to be exactly. Okay, so with each pentagon, you're going to draw lines toward the middle. Now, these lines have to be a different length than these main ones, right? Drawing all over my soccer ball. Now, the lines to the middle of the hexagons are also a different size than the ones that go around. The ones that go around are the same size all over the place, everywhere. And then these ones are a little bit longer, and these ones are a little bit shorter. And let me tell you exactly the measurements for those. Okay, let's call the lines that are already on the soccer ball, these lines here, which are all the same length, let's call those the normal lines. So we'll call them N. Now we have to do a tiny bit of algebra. Don't worry, it's not scary. We'll call the length of those N. Now the length of the lines that go toward the middle of the pentagons, that's, uh, I don't know where they went. These guys, those are N times 0 0.8696. So if you made your N's one, for example, you go to your calculator and type one times 0 0.8696 and that happens to be very easy to do in your head because it is 0 0.8696 but anyway and the lines going to the middle of the hexagons they're going to be n times 1.0224 so this way you can put whatever length you want in for your things if you want to make a huge dome you can put like 40 feet and then you put 40 feet times 0 0.8696 and you'll get the lengths of these and then you do the same thing for down here and you get the lengths of everything for any size. Okay, now you need to know how many of these silly things are there, right? 
<clears throat> okay, now I'm going to give you the information for a whole sphere, which is probably not what someone's going to do, but I don't know. Um, you have to figure it out for whatever size you want. And, you know, I can do this in my head because I'm really good at visualizing this stuff, but if you're not, just get a dry erase marker and draw on your soccer ball like this. And look, you don't even have to mess it up. You can erase it. <clears throat> and then you can, if you're, if you're really bad at counting, you can just write numbers on every single line as you go and just figure it out. But anyway, for an entire ball, there are 60 of these lines in the middle here. There are 120 of these lines that go to the middle of the hexagons, and there are 90 of the normal lines. So here's that. Okay, so we got all that so far. The normal lines, which is, are the, the basic lines that you're going to measure everything from, there's 90 of those going around the whole thing. And then to get the sizes of these, you multiply the normal times this number here, 0 0.8696, and there's 60 of those in an entire sphere. And then for the lines that go to the middle of the oops, hexagons, to get the length of them, you multiply them by this, 1.0224, and there's 120 of those. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Hope it's working. Okay, another important piece of information. The length across your entire dome is going to be approximately five times your normal length. It'll actually be slightly less, but without getting into more math, five is close enough. And when you start the, your, your dome, if you're doing it like a, a half sphere and you want to get the exact measurement around and you're like pouring a concrete slab or something, make it times five and maybe a little bit more just to, to make sure. And then take your first 15 sticks, pipes, whatever they are, and just lay them out because that's going to be the easiest way to, um, you know, get it exact without doing any math.